Hello everyone and welcome back to Magic the Gathering. So we are continuing along the Innistrad storyline, or Shadows over Innistrad, I can't remember exactly what it's called. Uh, and we are going into the second chapter here. As he reaches Markov Manor in search of Soren, Jace becomes, comes across, not becomes, but comes across a bizarre sight. The manor has been twisted into a gravity-defying pattern of floating stonework. Towers, halls, and buttresses hang at impossible angles around the sundered core of the building. Okay, tis me versus the vampires. Could really have used Liliana's help here. Okay, no mana is bad. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> no mana is bad for me. Is that a person? I don't think it is. Alright, let's try that again. Draw a new hand is on the other side. Although, this is not terrible. Okay, I'm actually going to keep this hand. It's a little land heavy. I would usually prefer three land to four other cards. But it'll do. Okay, again, a red deck. For vampires, I was absolutely expecting a black deck. Creature, vampire, menace. Can't be blocked except by two or more creature. Discard a card, sacrifice him to draw a card. Wow, really? You have to discard a card, sacrifice him, and you get one card. So it's two for the price of one. I suppose if you're desperate, you do whatever you need to. Uh, I won't be able to block him next turn because I need two or more cards to do so, so let's just go ahead and get some damage in early on. If he, she had chosen to block, I would have been in good shape. Oh well. There we go. I could deny her that one ping, but meh, it doesn't have lifelink, so I don't really care. Uh, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, if that player has no cards in their hand, you draw a card and you lose one life. Ooh, madness. Okay, so that's a mechanic we just learned about not to... If you discard, you can cast this way. Uh, okay, we can try the skill quest. I know this is bugged out in the past, but I'm hoping it's been fixed since then. Madness and discard. Discarding cards from your hand usually isn't good, but with the madness ability, it can be great. If you discard a card with madness, instead of it just going into your graveyard, you can cast the card by play paying its madness cost. Note that madness doesn't just let you discard the card whenever you want. Your opponent is about to attack and defeat you, and you're almost out of mana. Complete the skill quest, find a way to win this game this turn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, that should have been me. That should have been me. Whoops. I messed up. Yep, I messed up. Try again. Okay, so. It is my opponent's main phase. They're going to their attack phase. Target player draws a card and then discards a card. Discard you. Confirm. And 
and you lose three life. Okay, cool. Alright, back to the actual level. Okay, now it's my turn. Uh, that's a good card. This is a good card. Honestly, attacking with this guy is not terrible. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Now, granted, I can't block his 1-1 one, one this turn. Uh, I'm fine with taking one damage, because it's one damage. Uh, a 3-2. Oh, that's a nice looking card. Yeah, can't do that, but you can ping away at me for one. It's fine by me. Yeah, can't. I don't know why it doesn't automatically register that it can't be blocked. I know other cards do have the automatic register that it can't be blocked if certain con uh, conditions aren't met, so uh, I don't know. It's whatever. Okay, I could put the dragon down, and I think I will. Or I could put down Claustrophobia on his 3-2. Or I could kill his 3-2 with the dragon if it tries to attack. Yeah, you know what, that's fine. And I will... You know what, let's just keep plugging away here. You can keep pinging me with one, or she, sorry, it's clearly a lady vampire. Clearly a lady vampire. Okay, well now she can keep plugging me for two, which is not great. Not great. Okay, now you're putting down your land, and now you're putting down... As an additional cost to cast Tormenting Voice, discard a card. Draw two cards. Oh, wow, I was expecting them to use Menace there, but whatever. And she's just going to ping me for one this turn, because obviously... Vampires. Annoying. Draw three cards, untap two lands, discard a card. Yeah. That could be a lifesaver. Of the th three, I think it's the most useless, though. At this point, yeah, I'm doing enough damage to bring her under 10. So I'm gonna do it. I have five mana. So, if she brings something scary out, I can get rid of it, or I can destroy target tapped creature. Well, that really sucks. Card was technically wasted, because my guy just killed himself instead of being attacked by a, an illusion, or a, a magic spell. Yep. 
So that's going to be 5 damage. That brings me down to 12. That is a 2-1. Flying can't block. Target vampire gains haste until end of turn. All right. Well, you could block the one ones. Four one. You can't do 12 regardless. So let's kill you. And you're just gonna do 6 instead. Yeah, I'm not in a great spot. But I'm pretty sure I just won the game. Because now I can go into my attack step, I can attack with all, and I can win. Yep, there we go. Lovely. Chapter 2, complete. I gained 20 gold, lovely. Alright. Inside the manor, Jace finds no signs of Sorin. Uh, but he instead discovers the ghastly remains of the Markov bloodline embedded in the stone walls. Upon closer investigation, he locates a vital clue, the tattered journal filled with records of recent happenings on Innistrad. Alright, well that was a little bit of a shorter one, but uh, regardless, I don't know that I'll have time to cram in another level. So that's going to have to do it for this one, so thank you all for watching, I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment, any and all feedback is always very much appreciated, helps me out a ton, and I do always love hearing from you guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.